going on guys welcome back to another minecraft mod showcase and today i am showcasing the erebus mod this mod adds in a dimension devoted purely to the insects and i don't like insects but for the sake of atlantis i am going to showcase this because it is a freaking epic mod and it would be perfect for crazy craft because it is the wackiest uh strangest uh most bizarre mod ever and it would probably uh, scare the crap out of me every time we went but there are some very beneficial things to this dimension so this is the portal and it's crafted with mossy stone bricks and you need yourself a portal activator which is two sticks and a spider's eye you strike it down like you would a flint and steel creates this lovely green smelly looking portal and you jump inside and hopefully we warp there's the warp and this is the dimension. Now, there's various biomes in this dimension. There's about, uh, well, there's several. Um, last time I reviewed it, there was uh, like one biome and like five mobs. Now there's about 40 mobs and several biomes. So it's improved a great deal. And a lot of the, um, the coding the modder has put in is very, very clever. So first off, we've got all these new ores, which are pretty much the same as the overworld, apart from these three. Uh, so you've got your... Coal, iron, etc., diamond. Um, but then you've got this, which is jade ore, which is used to craft armor. And then you have petrified wood ore and fossil ore. So there's all these decorative blocks. We've got some quicksand. We've got this, which is fake sand. And you fall through it into a dungeon. So there's two dungeons as well, which I'll show you later. Um, we've got all these different types of wood. We've got this hollow log, which I'd like to crawl inside and hide from the bugs. Um, loads of different planks. Loads of like this uh, stone brick, I guess. Pe oh, that's that's wood. It's petrified wood. And then we've got a crafting table. Um, these are bamboo crates. And these are very cool. And they're crafted like so. With bamboo and bamboo planks, which are crafted like this. And once you put them in a fashion like this, as you can see, you can stack them, which is pretty epic. If you put them for, um, two by two by two, you can get yourself a ginormous crate and inside is three huge pages of storage you can't actually put them side by side but you can have them sort of close to each other and that is a lot of storage right there perfect for crazy craft in our little house we've got those horrible hideous chests everywhere um, so we've got more more bricks um, some altars which I'll show you in a second uh, next on to the armor which the first set is crafted with jade, which is that ore I showed you earlier. Crafted the same way as you usually would any sort of armor. But with the tools, you also get a paxel, which is crafted like this. So just two sticks and a couple of jades. But that gives you a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel all in one. So that's pretty epic. Um, exoskeleton is made just with exoskeletons. These pretty much drop from every single insect. I believe most insects, not every single one. I lied. Oh, Great. Um, next we have reinforced exoskeleton which is crafted like this so just a lot more exoskeletons and that's pretty much twice as strong so next we have this which is the pretty epic sort of armor and there's four pieces and we have the reinforced compound goggles these I believe you craft like this some of these items are um, some of the other items some of the weapons are only available from um, loot chests in the, the dungeons but these you can craft, so you got the glider, the chest glider, reinforced exoskeleton, and then a glider wings, which is crafted with wings and sticks. Um, sprint leggings, which are crafted with bio velocities and reinforced leggings. Boots, boots, and elastic fiber, four of those, and two wings. So the boots, they give you a jump, they make you like a bug, so you can jump and avoid things. You don't take full damage. There's a lot of cliffs and stuff in this, so they'd be very useful uh, sprint leggings which give you I think what is it it doesn't tell me I think it's speed 4 or speed 5 I'm not sure but it makes you go incredibly fast which is kinda cool and then we have the glider plate and if you I, I think I've set the keybind to G yeah so if I jump off the edge here and hold down G I glide down so you, you could just drop oh my god there's so many bugs you could just use those boots to reduce the fall damage, but the glider is pretty cool. It gets you quite some quite some distance. Um, now the reinforced compound goggles, which are kind of essential. 
it gives you much better vision. Night vision without the potion effects, the particle effects, which are horrible. I hate them, and I always wondered why people put them in. But this modder is a genius, and he has removed them. So thank you to him for that. Jesus. Next, we have some of these items. We have Caveman's Club, Wasp Sword, Wasp Dagger, and a Max Speed Bow. I believe all of these, apart from um, the Wasp Dagger, are craft... Um, I believe all of these are gotten from dungeons, apart from the Wasp Dagger, which is crafted with a Wasp Sting and a Stick. And you can use it as just a weapon. So, oh, oh, he's got me. So the <laughs> Scorpions picked me up, and it will poison and uh, and kill but you can also throw it so like so suck on that bug oh and it hits the wall it goes pink I guess so maybe it helps you see where it went in I don't know but then the wasp sword I believe this does seven or eight um, damage where's all the bugs come here bugs oh it is one that's fire come here solar fuge so there we go it does nine damage Dependent on uh, how you strike it, I guess. And you see there, I got some exoskeleton plates. We got a caveman's club, which is just pretty much a stick that does damage. And then the max speed bow, which is kind of OP. Um, you don't need to draw it back, so I need to get out of. I actually need some uh, arrows first. Can't just uh, shoot the old boy. Game mode zero. Oh, no spell. No jobas, no spell. There we go. And this shoots very very quickly which you need against these flies because unless you are some sort of uh, Mr. Miyagi you won't be able to kill these flies so there you go that bow is slightly OP imagine this in the Hunger Games oh unless you <laughs> that's something I do misclick and die come on there we go even with this bow I can't hit them um, that's pretty much it I believe it wears down quite quickly for that, um, that's just. What are you doing? What are you doing? Suck on that. Um, next, we have the altars, and the altars are slightly epic. And you get these drops from all these creatures over here, which I'll spawn in a second. Now I'm going to get these out. These four items you need for different variations of altars. So first off, the red gem. I'm going to throw this on here. It gets absorbed by the altar. And you click on it with this staff of Wand of Illumination. And it, you need a Nether Star, a Diamond, and a Stick for that. And it gives you this, which is a lightning thingy my bob. Um, I can't... I, oh, oh. And if anything comes near... Um, it doesn't end well for them. Why did you not die? You evil creature. But it should, it should pretty much protect you. Um, by striking anything that comes in the vicinity with uh, with lightning. Where's my where are my goggles gone? I want those goggles back. Give me give me that. Give it. There we go. I can see again. The next one is this, which is an elastic fiber. You have to get it right on top. It's kind of hard to do. Yeah. There we go. And I click on it with a wand. What's this one going to be? And this is an. Oh my god, I'm getting rid of that. That scared the crap out of me. Um, this is an anvil, so if I have some degraded armor, I can just throw it on there and it will heal the armor up. Unfortunately, I don't have any degraded armor. What are you doing? Suck on it. <laughs> uh, the beetle lava, if you stand on them, they will die and be, be squished. Uh, which is an awesome feature, but as, as you can see, they do actually eat wood. Uh, that's not that's not good. The next one is bioluminescence. Throw that on there, and click on that, and it should pop out a lovely little flower. And this will give you healing, instant health, um, for the uh, the time that this lasts. If anything attacks you, so if I get out of game mode, come on, botfly, hit B. See, my health just doesn't go down, but it shouldn't. There we go. See, I, I'm not taking any damage now. This thing does... Oh, it doesn't do any damage at all. Right. Get out of this so things stop attacking me. The next, the final one of the altars. Bio-velocity. I knew that was going to miss. Come on, pick it up. Throw it on there. Just get sucked in. There we go. Click on that. And this one is very, very epic. So, 
all items you get from this mod, um, you pick up, so say loads of exoskeleton plates and you don't need them, you can right click on the altar, oh no, throw them into the altar, just on top, and it will give you levels, so I need to, it'll tell me how many levels I'm getting, so it gives you XP, don't bot fly, don't even think about it, so you can throw all your unwanted items in here and trade them for XP, will you bugger off? Please, I didn't disrupt you when you were doing your mod showcase, Botfly. Hey, I saw you doing it, but I didn't step in, you filthy little poo-eating creature. Goodbye. Uh, so that's it for the altars. Now on to the mobs, and there's quite a few of them, so let's get rid of... I need to keep this. Throw that out. Delete that. Give me that. Put it back on. So we got all these creatures. Lots and lots of bugs. I'm not a big, big fan of bugs. I'm not a fig either. Um, so this isn't going to be too pleasant for me. First we have the scorpion. Let's get a weapon. First we must get a weapon. Um, I will use the wasp sword. I just deleted the scorpion. Oops. Sco get back here. You naughty scorpion. So scorpion will grab you like this, even if you're in creative, and hold on to you. Which is not very nice, scorpion. Horrible sound when you kill it. Uh, mosquito, he's he's a bit foul. Um, he should actually latch onto you and try and pick you up. So if I can get him to uh, come and get me. There we go. He's got me. He's got me. Pick me up. Take me to your lair. He's sucking my blood. That's foul. Get off me. Next we have the fly. This guy is passive, so I'm not going to kill him. Uh, he has four health. He doesn't really drop anything. Next we have the centipede. This guy poisons you. He is not very nice. The bot fly spawns with him. He doesn't really. He's just a knob. Um, and the centipede should drop some exoskeletons. Let's get back in game mode. Uh, next we have the beetle. And the beetles come in varying colours. Um, I think there's four. So there should be a red. Uh, oh, no, five maybe. There's, there's the five. All five of them. So I'll just quickly kill all these off. These drop loads of exoskeletons. So these are pretty good for armour. Would you go away? Jeez, it's just because I killed your husband. Next we have the wasp. And the wasp is, he is pretty epic looking. That is the coolest model. Wow. And the wasp drops a wasp sting and exoskeleton plate. Next we have the beetle lava. As you saw earlier, you can either kill it or when he goes for your wood. Stand on it! <laughs> I love this. It's so much fun. Stand on them all. Get off my wood. Did I kill the other one? Okay, good. So the next load, we have the Bombardier Beetle, which is this guy. He's sort of like a boss. You might find him in um, some of the dungeons. And he's kind of kind of mean. Let's get out of game mode. See what he does. Oh my goodness, he blows stuff up. Kill it! Oh, that was close. That was bloody close. Right, next we have the Glow Worm. This guy's not aggressive, but he is if you attack him. Oh, maybe not. He's a bit of a wimp. But if you kill him, you get... This, the bioluminescence. So that is used for the altar. Next, we have the Black Widow. Oh my god, get away from me. Oh, it's hideous. It's hideous. And he drops string. Okay. Firebrat, which is pretty much a silver, silver fish that sets you on fire. He's not very friendly. So you kill him. The moth, my enemy. Die, bitch. Okay, that's the end of that one. Um, Antleon, which is like... I, I guess, I think this is one of those bosses, like a mini boss, um, he sort of tunnels down and then vanishes, but if you do find him in one of the uh, dungeons, he won't do that, oh god, oh god, get me out of here, get out, oh come on, okay next one we have the locust, and this guy is aggressive, he should be, why are you not hurting me, oh there it is, there he goes, oh those wings, those lovely animations, he's gonna kill me, nope, and he drops, the elastic fiber. He has a little brother, which is the grasshopper, which has a lot less health and he's not aggressive. And he jumps very high. Go away. And you must kill him to get. What'd you get? What are you gonna give me? Grasshopper leg, which is one of the varying types of food, um, which I'll go over in a second, that you can get from these mobs. What happened? We've been over money spider, Erebus spider, and. Have we spawned in a solifuge? I think we've seen a solifuge. I think that is it. Tarantula! Oh god, do we have to? Let's do. Let's just get that out of the way. 
Oh, he's hideous. His head moves separate. Oh, God. Oh, look at those legs. Oh, oh the things I do for Atlantis. Uh, the grasshopper, we've seen the grasshopper. The Erebus spider, which is pretty much the same, but with 25 health. And finally, the money spider, which is a tiny little guy that you can one hit. What did he drop? Money? No, he didn't drop money. Tarantula paw. Oh, are they paws? They have paws? Are they cats? They've been lying to us all. Oh, not again. Um, so that's pretty much it for mobs. I'm going to try and find a dungeon, but quickly I'll go over the food. Um, so you've got beetle lava, which you can cook. You've got grasshopper legs, tarantula paws, bamboo soup. A melonade, which gives you a healing effect, larvae on a stick, turnips, and you can eat the wand, apparently. Um, oh yes, the altar. How do you craft the altar? I forgot to mention that. Um, the altar of repair. No, I just need an altar. Give me an altar. Give, do, wait, there it is. It's crafted like so. You can either use altar fragments and obsidian, which are found in some of the loot chests of the, uh, the dungeons, or if you can't find those, you can use piston and redstone. So it's not too difficult. Now I'm going to go and try and find a dungeon. I thought I'd quickly show you. This is one of the other biomes underground. And it has these lovely ravines going through it. These lovely water pools. Which you can go and hide in from all the bugs. Which I'm sure I'll be doing. Um, there's loads of trees. This is where you get the bamboo. The bamboo is pretty cool looking. You can just break it like that. Very easily. There's moths here. So get out of here. Uh, what else have we got? Any dungeons? Some This is quicksand I believe. Yes. Not good. Not good at all. Some trees that appear to have uh, some serious gravity issues. Um, this is a very nice tree. And another, on the other side we have more of that sand biome. Here's another biome, which is pretty much like a plains biome. And you have these big blocks of amber. Is there anything inside? Should we go inside? In we go. But it looks very cool. And uh, you got these trees which have an unusual sort of style to them. But it looks, it sort of goes with the biome. Um, I've noticed that diamonds are quite common here. So it would be very useful for us if we were mining. Um, let's, I'm still looking for a dungeon. No dungeon yet. Oh god, there's tarantulas. Alright, so I managed to find one of these small dungeons. And I believe it's just some Erebus spiders in here. Surrounded by some cobwebs. So I'm just going to kill these guys. Get rid of the spawner. Oh, I can't do it with sword. There we go, they're gone. Thank God for that. And these guys have a lot of health. But there is a little chest in the corner. What happened here? Um, and in here we have sharpness 3, protection 3, power 2. We got some jades. Um, how many is that? 10 jades. Um, some exoskeleton plates and a max speed bow. So that's a pretty good chest. Um, there's one in the desert which I couldn't actually find because they're almost impossible to find because they're invisible. Um, where you just fall into a hole and in there will be a similar chest um, with some lootage. So if there was one thing I'd ask them to improve it would be dungeons. Just add a couple more dungeons, some easier to find with some more elaborate bosses. But apart from this, but apart from that this is an epic mod. And if you want to check it out, link will be in the description. If you could give the video a thumbs up that would be awesome as always. And thanks for watching.